Hi all and welcome to the Women's Round 5 of the British Online Chess Championships. I'm WIM Natasha Regan. I'm going to be joined by GM John Spillman also very, very shortly. Um, we are, we've got some good games today. I'm going to just share my screen and show you the lineup. Uh, so we have uh, on top board we have um, Anusha against Ketty, woman's grand, uh, sorry, not woman's grandmaster, uh, Ketty Arakamia Grant. Um, and so Anusha, we saw her game yesterday. John and Chris were commenting, um, and she got that win against Nina Pert. Um, and Ketty's uh, and Akshaya are jointly in the lead of this tournament on three and a half out of four. Anusha uh, and also Akshaya's opponent, Elspeth of Vine, are on three out of four. So actually, Akshaya and Ketty have um, already played each other and they got the draw. Uh, so now they're both playing games. Uh, they're going to try and win each game. And uh, if they can both manage to win all the rest of the games, then they will, I, I guess, jointly be the champions. Um, then uh, we have Imogen Dyson against um, Rukaya Rida, uh, both two young players and also junior players Georgia Headlong against Elise Dyson and also young players Arena Jitendra against Nina Pert. So we're going to see all those games. Um, Prachi Arori against Camilla Kolashnikova, uh, Shimbati Hiradhan against Fati Singer, and Ashwina Hariaskuza against Tashika Aurora. So let's see the games. Um, here we go. I'm going to share my chess.com screen. One moment. So, and the games have just started. We're going to see, first of all, um, Anusha against Ketty. Aha, and here is John. Hi, uh, I've just I've just uh, moved on to the game, so we've just gone through the. Yeah, yeah I'm so sorry. I was watching. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. I, and I hadn't really yeah. noticed it was Friday. I mean, it's sort of everything is blurring into each other. Sorry, I'm I know. I found that. I found that actually since lockdown, that the days do blend into each other rather because, uh, mm. uh, like, 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 like I used to have a lot of structure with my working week, and now it's. Um, so I do remind myself of which day, but today is definitely. Friday, unless right. I put it. But right. I don't well, that's amazingly it. amazing. Um, so I'm in this position. White would quite like to play d4, but at the moment this takes, takes, well, anyway, it's black's move. Say black played a6. If d4 takes, knight takes, knight takes, queen takes, there is knight e4. And the sacrifice, queen takes bishop, queen takes bishop with check is really. Um, knight takes, knight takes. Pawn takes, queen takes. Knight e4 is actually winning material. Well, there's queen e3 actually, so maybe you can play this if you yeah. want to, but you are pinned. Um, we can't do any clever sacrifices. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. The sacrifices don't really work here because black is not weakened. If the black pawn was knee six, then this would definitely be interesting. Yeah, you know, I mean, it probably wouldn't be sound, but, but but I might do it on a good day with the following win, but I a bad day, whatever. <laughs> but, but 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 um, you can't really do this here. Yeah. Um, so, um, I was going to say, oh, oh, do I look okay? I, I actually did, downloaded the right driver for my webcam, which I think has improved it. Yes, you're looking yeah. very clear. Yes. I'm looking very clear, good. And you can see all the scruffiness, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> which is obviously, obviously a chess player should be scruffy in all circumstances. Um, right, so I don't know. So she can play D4 if she wants to. Um, it's certainly not ridiculous. Let me go full screen and see how it looks. Um, okay, sorry, I can kill that message. It's just a message from my screen. Yeah, this is fine. I can see you. I know I can't see the left hand of the screen now. It's a pain. Uh, I think okay. it vanishes in a second if you just leave it. And that's my uh, all right, let's, let's try again. Uh, I mean, it's only the two. Oh, good. Yes, excellent. Because it's better. Now, why is that happening? Is that because I move my mouse? If I stop moving my mouse, which I have no need to, do I? Because you are 
Yeah, you're, I'm going to drive. You're, you're in charge of all all non-verbal communication. <laughs> <laughs> Has she played D4? Uh, no, let's let's see what they've actually. Oh, okay, keep something. Oh, let's play something different. Can you stop the idea with E5? Oh, now now that you've played E5, I had a game with Andrew Martin once where I played D3, E3, and D4, and then I did play Queen Takes Bishop with check. And that, and that was sort of, that was not unreasonable there. Um, well, you have to go E, perhaps you have to go D3 first, because if you go E3, there might be Bishop D3. But anyway, yeah. we had some game which went something like, maybe H3 first. I don't know why it keeps giving me this bloody border. What's the problem? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't really need, I know where the H pawns are, but it would be nice, yeah. the bloody thing. <laughs> You're, yes, I'm in the show. Yes, thank you very much. Now, can I move Can I move this window slightly to my... Oh, yes. Everyone can see and hear me. Very good. I'm very pleased to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great joy, isn't it? To all yeah. that time to be told, told the bleeding obvious. Uh, so H3 played, yeah. Well, I had a game where basically... I put my king on h2, then I went d3, e3, and d4. I think queen d2 had happened as well. And it went takes several captures, then knight g4 check, pawn takes knight. Um, and um, um, bish takes queen. But for some reason, my knight must have been somewhere else because I was then able to recapture. And then I had quite a lot of fun. Well, I had a lot of fun, actually, in that game. Yeah. Um, sacrificing my queen and eventually doing bad things to Andrew Martin. I mean, I. So it is a possible thing you can try to do. Yes. <laughs> and it's sort of it's fairly similar position to this. It, it's not exactly this position, and I, I wouldn't. I, I don't know what facilities you have, but but certainly trying to bring up a database or something would be a horrible thing to do. Um, but 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 it is a poss possibility. I'm trying to think where the hell my knight was. Why? So a, Andrew Martin, yes, because he, I read his book on the, he, in fact, I used to study his book on the King's Indian, um, and he did. He did quite well with it. Well, what I don't understand is where my knight was, because it can't have been on c3 blocking, because what happened was that there was this exchange of knight g4 check, pawn takes knight, bishop takes queen, Oh, maybe I played rook takes bishop there. Maybe I played d3, e3, and rook d1. So I was able to recapture with a rook and d4 on d4 and then play knight d5 or something and start hacking, which yeah. I did. And okay. it, 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 it's, it's not, I mean, engines go harump or ping or whatever the bloody things do, but um, it doesn't matter, you know. You, you, there are all sorts of things you can do when you play chess, which have nothing to do with what engines think. <laughs> but what, the, the strongest thing advice I'd have to people is to take no notice of your engines if you don't like what they say. I mean, yeah. unless they say it's minus eight, in which case you know that there is checkmate or something, and and you know they are going to be right about that. If they complain about a variation which you like, then you should do your stuff. You are in charge of the game; they're not. Yeah. So that's this game. I haven't even seen who it is. It's Anusha. This is Ketty Grant against Anusha Subramanian. Right. Okay. So Ketty, well, her opponent is probably not going to sacrifice her queen, is the first thing to say. If Ketty were white, she mm -hmm. might do if she felt like it. But I yeah. think Ketty is probably going to outplay her position, isn't she, on a normal day, I would say. Quite a useful thing to have got in Queen d7 and Bishop yeah. f5, because now you can't really play, well, you can't play h3 which means black has control of the c8 to h3 diagonal, which, yeah. you know, it's not a huge thing, but it's quite quite nice in a sense. And yeah. I don't see what rook c1 was doing. Oh, it's gone e4. I would guess you'll go bishop g4 rather than bishop I think so, I, yeah. I, I see no reason. You might do that, bishop. and you might even do that sort of thing. Yes, you might well do that. I mean, I think bishop g4, probably knight d5 happens. So you're hoping to be able to... Do something about it but actually now black is probably better already well bishop g4 you ought to move your queen if you go knight d5 knight takes knight c takes knight d4 bishop takes pawn takes then bishop h6 is happening in lots of positions okay to take over the c line yeah. and that's going to be unpleasant yeah i mean okay white goes queen d2 to stop that i think 
but I mean, I'm not particularly impressed by E4. Be, be slightly more more sensible with the knight in E2, I think. So okay. you can play F3. Um, and black is, I mean, not black isn't better yet, but yeah, black, is, black is in great danger of becoming better very quickly. Yeah. All right, let's see. The next one is um, uh, Elspeth of Vine is white, woman Fide Master Elspeth of Vine, and um, Fide Master Akshaya Kalyalahan is black. Is she so, only a Fide Master? I, I suppose, yeah, because she's really. I mean, good Fide Master as in. Um, yeah, no, she must be a women's I am probably as well, isn't she? And oh, I probably, imagine probably, so. Yeah, probably. but Fide Master's the. A higher rating, isn't it, for Fide Master? I think probably than women's twenty three hundred, don't you, for Fide Master and twenty three hundred and twenty. What you need for women's IM twenty two fifty. Twenty two. Twenty two, right? She must be quite close to being an IM, I would think. I mean, she's a really good hacker. Yeah. She, she's not very reliable because, well, okay, she's at university and everything. But I mean, she, if if you give her the chance to go Yahoo, she's quite likely to yeah. do it. <laughs> well, let's see about this game because this is a. Um, Sicilian Grand Prix attack, so so either side can go Yahoo, I would think. Yeah, but it's, all, 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 it's always impossible, always important to keep the Yahoo options. Now it's D five. She took. I mean, I don't know if how D five is in that position. It must be yeah. a critical move. Um, I put a let's get a board. Yeah. So I, I, I mean, in this position after F five. D5 must be critical. I don't know if there's anything you can do connected with F6. Maybe Queen H4 or something is a move here. Actually, I mean, it's probably not. I don't know. Can you do even stuff like that? Well, yeah. Well, I think you can go Pawn takes Bishop, F6, and then you can go Knight F5, I think. And uh, basically, basically, that's not going to work for White. Yeah. But it's going to be kicked around. Yeah. So I don't believe that. Um, that there's maybe knight g5 and f6 as well, but I don't. But so I don't know what happens after d5 because I mean you're threatening to break, to break through to to smash at white's pawns. So what like takes takes. takes, takes and, well, well, you're going to take an f5 then and just take a pawn. And I don't really see what see why you yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes now, sense. I, now it may be that I'm missing something deeply crucial. Maybe there's a queen h4 move or something here. But I don't really believe any of it, you know. No. I mean, especially with the pawn on D2, because, you know, I, I mean, I think in my mind I've been playing Bishop, Bishop C1, jumping over the pawn in a <laughs> drafts combination. Yeah. Because I, I sort of imagined White would at least have got in. So I don't really see what you're doing here, because if you play Bishop B3, we take an E4. And unless you're going to play some very brilliant attacking something, which I don't see, you're going to lose a pawn for nothing. So yeah. I, would have, I would have thought this is very critical. That is critical. Now maybe you can take in g6 at some point and do some sort of rubbish. But it looks G like okay. So g6 and two, we'd have to take here, right? To be yeah, you take there. I suppose you take an f7. If you take an h7, then king h8, and it's ridiculous. But takes rook takes. I do not believe a word of this. <laughs> you know, it just isn't working. Are you right? a fan of the Grand Prix attack, by the way? Not greatly, but 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 I, but I mean I don't play the Sicilian and I don't play one e four. So, so I'm, um, I had a game against Jules once against Julian where I played c four and did things with my bishops. I like having my bishops. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm always pleased to get a position I can play out of the opening. So one that actually you can lose one pawn to have lots of lines and lots of bishops. I understand yeah. you only have two of them, but sometimes you feel that white smoke is almost rising from your position. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. No, I think this is absolutely rubbish. Mm. So I don't quite understand off the d5 what white is doing. Now, I may be missing something clever, but I don't see what the hell it's going to be. Um, you know, I don't see what what is going to, going, to, going to look clever in this position because... It would have to involve f6, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, it would have to involve f6 or it would have to involve taking an e6. I mean, maybe you can go bishop b3, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes e6. Pawn takes okay. knight, pawn takes... I mean, maybe. But yeah. you, can also, you can play c4, actually, after bishop b3 as well, if you want to. But let's say we took... And white took an yeah. e6. And we took a knight. And they took, they took a pawn and king h8, probably. Well, I mean, what have you got? You've got two pawns, no attack, nothing. I mean, it just is 
I mean, it's rubbish, isn't it? Because, <laughs> I mean, knight d4 is happening and you're going to be able to take. Okay, so let's try. So rook takes pawn. Knight d4. Well, I was trying to go rook h3, which is suboptimal, isn't it? Because it loses all your pieces. Oh, yeah, but then bishop, bishop takes rook. Yeah. So this is just rubbish. Yeah. So you play rook e3, I suppose. Knight I takes bishop, know. rook takes knight. Uh, something clever. Now, now that might actually cause enough trouble because there's a rookie eight here. I, 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 I haven't done any arithmetic yet. No. Um, so if I played knight takes rook here in ungentlemanly fashion and white played <laughs> rookie eight, as I suppose you have to, okay, that wins the queen, but I play bishop f5. You can do a queen d4 check as well. Oh, oh. I, can, I can go queen. D, I didn't even see a queen d4. I go a well, queen d4 check. Then, yeah, of course. Sorry, I'm just. Uh, I don't know. It's absolutely rubbish, isn't it? Or is there going to be a rook takes rook and a queen e8 check? No, because you play bishop d7. Don't and you, you? Move your bishop out, yeah. You just well, you play bishop d7 to cover e8. Because I was thinking bishop f5 takes, recaptures, and basically you probably don't have enough. But at least you put a queen in d7. I mean, black then has three, two rooks in a piece. But given you can play queen d4 check, this is not even interesting. Yeah, okay. So, so it looks like d5 was strong. Well, it looks terribly strong to me. I yeah. don't know if I can... Can I pick this up? No, because, of course, it's on a screen. So, 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 of course, I can't pick it up and paste it into a chess base and ask it. No. I, well, I, you, you, could, you could open chess.com and also follow the game if you fancied. I could open chess.com. That that would involve opening another window and playing. It would, it would indeed. I, I mean, I could log on chess.com. It's true. Um, oh, not essential. No, no, no. Well, I'm very, very happy that you are the woman with the mouse. That's very good. <laughs> did, did, did I ever tell you about my, my, my cat and the mouse? No. 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 So, well, uh, Lindsay, my wife borrowed my laptop at one point and had it in her study. And the cat came in and killed the mouse. It was lovely. <laughs> it was such a canonical moment, you know. I mean, it was. Oh. You, you, you know, I'm mean, the cat. You know, jump. Attack the attack the mouse. She didn't attack it. Actually, she just tripped over the the, the the cord, and the mouse was dead. Oh dear. And so, you know, I felt that this was one of the canonical moments of West Ham's <laughs> life. Really fantastic. Yeah, I thought it was great. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was yes. Okay, I, I, I mean, I understand it wasn't a real mouse. So, so that was kind of her, I think, to take that. What happened now? D3? Then D3, knight A5. Yeah, queen H4, presumably, is what you do now, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so it's not played any more moves, actually. Uh, F5 here. D3, yeah. Queen H4 was indeed played. And now you and want to go to H6, knight G5, and checkmate. The point. usual plan. Yes, yes. Um, it's this and that. And then you get a kind of checkmate on h7. That's White's plan in this in this whole system. And you can, you know, you can kind of let them take on e4, and you you just kind of hold your pawn there. But okay, and um, actually, I've met that with knight takes c4. Yeah, so knight sharp probably doesn't believe it very much. She, it looks like she does not believe this plan. So we could just see if we if we do just go. I suppose we have to recapture this knight, otherwise it's. I, I would I would think if you went bishop h6. Black would have moves that, that would make you look incredibly stupid, but yeah, I, I, I'm not quite sure what they'd be. Uh, or at worst, you could play knight e3, and then but I mean, you can try it. But remember, bishop takes bishop and queen h7 isn't actually mate, the king can run to a 2f6. I mean, oh, so, gosh. she's done it, she's actually done it without recapturing the knight. Well, well, well that's well hacked, I guess. Now, now, let me do some arithmetic. So at the moment. Um, so we can just play f6 if we want to, or takes an f6. If we take an e4, then knight g5. Uh, what's happening? So putting on the analysis board here, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean it's nice to see the girl really going for it. Yeah. But, but because you know, I mean, you especially playing a stronger opponent, it's a very good thing to threaten to checkmate them you know at least it makes some sense of what you're doing yeah and it's not so stupid this i mean if i'm new i'm black can play f6 and nothing really happens f6. yeah f6 you probably f6. have to recapture the horse then i mean you're not going to give him an eight yeah you got you couldn't take on f 
No, but, you can't. You can't do no, it. It's not mate. Yeah, to take the capture. No, I'll take an E4 because I actually want to go and play knight F5, which at the moment is a winning move. Yeah. So bishop G7 is necessary. King G7, knight E4 probably. Yeah. And I, I mean, I don't believe this for a while. I mean, maybe D5 now to get some. I suppose then rook D1. Um, I mean, well, I mean at least, you know, white has some pieces in the game. I mean, if, if if d5, it's interesting to see whether you can play knight f6 and then knight g5 in a really good day. I mean, you, yeah, and now knight g5. And, you know, on a really good day, that might sort of work. On a, yes. bad, on a bad day, it wouldn't. I mean, essentially, you're... Nobody really believes this, or I certainly don't, but, but I believe you can fight. I, I mean, I'm not so sure about this. I suppose it might be possible. It's, it's definitely if I was if I were a much stronger player, I'd be annoyed that I had to calculate this at this stage. <laughs> yes. You know, I, I think what is my opponent doing? How dare she? You know, m make me think. Yeah, actually, White's done quite well to get this because it's only. Oh no, it's a whole piece down, isn't it? Oh, 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 oh yes, it's a piece, of course. A whole bit. piece. Yeah. But, but I'm, I'm sorry, sorry I'll be one second. I'll just. Yeah. Hello. I am commentating, though I've completely forgotten I was. I need to ask you about quantities for rice pudding later. <laughs> um, I can talk about four o'clock if that's okay. Uh, okay, darling, see you there. Uh, I can ring you in the landline. Lots of love then. Bye. Sorry. Right. All right. Um, now, okay. um, well, I'm a bit casual about commentary. Um, so... I mean, h6 now, rook takes rook, pawn takes knight, queen takes pawn, threatens threatens rook g6 check, which is nice. Um, bishop somewhere, bishop f5 maybe. Yeah. M maybe rook e1 now, I don't know. Rook e1 threatens, uh, rook takes e7, and rook g6 check. And that's quite scary. That actually probably is winning material for, for white. At least I don't see why not. I think this is probably winning because if not, it feels to me like White's done better than she should here. Yeah, she's doing better than she ought to. I agree. Uh, I mean, this actually, I think, is almost winning for White. Hi, it makes a lot. Yeah, yeah. There's all sorts of. It's a um, it's a Grand Prix attack, and and White's uh, sacked a piece and flinging pieces up the board. Let's see. Let's see if they've played any more moves. Mm -hmm. No, they haven't. So it's still. So this is the actual life position. Uh, LSPS yes. just played bishop h6, so ignored the recapture of the knight on c4, and is instead uh, throwing pieces into the attack and going for a checkmate. We were we were just looking at the line um, f6. Yeah. We were. I mean, I mean, the other question is whether you can go ninety five here and try to stir a piece up, which would be rude, I suppose. I think you should try and stir a piece up. All right, let's let's play knight g five. Yeah. Because now if knight g five, I want to play f six. And if bishop takes bishop, I want to play pawn takes knight. And I think that's basically going to refute uh. this. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, the Queen's going to have to move or take that pawn or something. Yeah, I mean, the Queen's F plus is obviously have an option. If Queen H6, Knight G4 wins or indeed Knight F7. So, so I don't really believe this. I think Knight E5 probably is a good move. I mean, yeah. I don't believe this position at all for White, of course, but, but, but I just think it's fun to look at. Yeah. I don't believe it for White either, but I thought that line we looked at before looked... Would, was, was, yeah, yeah, was well, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, but I mean, it's you don't have to play that badly. You know, you're you're allowed to play good moves as well. <laughs> and if if if, if ninety five, uh, if um, bish takes bishop first, you probably play. Plus, you can play king takes there, or you can play knight takes knight, rook takes knight, king takes. You you can just take an f three because then if rook h three, you have h five. Uh, okay, so takes, takes takes takes. Yeah. Threatens mate, but we just play h5. Um, that is not scary, really. No, I mean, you know, I mean, you, you need a lot of a lot of help as white to do anything at all in this position. Obviously, you're obviously completely lost, of course. 
and you're a whole yeah a whole piece I'm of that. This, that this is there's not a mate no of course not well when i say of course not you're, you're pretending there is but it is a pretense yeah i mean you'd have to bring in you know another rook and then good things to happen after that yeah so it obviously doesn't actually work um so i guess 95 is probably the best move yeah um because i mean you, you can take an exchange back but then you just position totally sucks if you take and take and take an f8 all right so that's where they are sorry we have had some more moves okay so akshaya decided to keep the piece but she actually went to d6 rather than e5 and knight g5 has happened knight g5 so this is the standard configuration of pieces in this grand prix attack and now, now f6 bish takes f6 knight h7 maybe is sort of a... so f6 knight h7 did you say yeah sort of trying but actually you can just play king takes then bishop checks takes knight still leaves black a piece up but at least it's not entirely horrible at least you made a slight mess in that position so probably after knight takes you actually go bishop takes bishop after knight after after this yeah yeah knight takes rook every cat queen takes rook f7 knight takes we just, oh yes we take queen takes anything and you, you're about 12 extra pieces yeah 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 so this should be good but, for but, 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 but you can play, you can play queen takes h6 if you want to and then then rook f7 is basically winning um knight f6 rook f6 e5 knight f7 and you're two pieces up uh, i mean i mean she should win in a minute yeah I, I mean it's clear that it doesn't work it's just a question of you know she, she should end up at least a piece ahead i would think yeah 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 i agree all righty let's see imogen uh dyson against uh Lukaya Rida. now what i'm is this i'm confused this is vienna game it says ah king's gambit like the king's gambit okay so it might be written quite see how f4 what are they supposed to do oh that's a vienna game isn't it knight f3 97 that's a bit d5 Brazil. yeah 97 is interesting actually i don't know if it's playable but it's an interesting move bishop c4 must be a move as well there in that position d4 oh, yeah, presumably d5 now yeah d5 she did take take e5 yeah five. yeah you'd think take you oh take take you could maybe just take it all and then take on f4 at the end couldn't you well i could maybe go takes this takes takes bishop takes f4 and claim to be plus equals because i got an extra yeah. second because the thing about the king's gambit actually it's quite positional yeah it's much more positional than people think once you get that pawn back on f4 it's really quite nice yeah i mean you can also go takes takes bishop c4 possibly to bishop b6 take a couple of times and castle and then try to recapture the pawn uh, um, i don't know I, I mean okay she went e5 knight g6 is a good move okay now, yeah now h5 or not be no not played i wasn't sure so, h5. so h5, knight h4 okay so white does need to worry about getting pieces out so takes 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 check yeah okay so king e2 which is all right nothing wrong with king e2 in this position the bishop's bad on h4 I mean, you know, it's slightly at B6. Oh, I see. She's so you've still got E3. This check. Yeah, yeah. Vicious little thing. Uh, <laughs> prob prob probably not doing very much, actually, but still. So, one question I, um, what questions do I have? Quite sure what's going on here, actually. Um, quite like to play rook takes bishop and knight takes d5, but maybe I won't when I've done it. King e3 looks like a possible move, and then maybe knight e7. Uh, how did she do it? She went. So we had so it's after b6. So actually, what uh, what she actually did was queen d2 to give her a king, yeah. a square back again. But you were looking at takes here, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's rubbish, and, and knight takes, and probably castles. And I'm I'm a bit scared about white's king now. More scared yeah. than I should be. Yeah. Uh, I mean it's not completely absurd. I can see Steinitz thinking my king is beautiful on the square but i don't think enough i believe him 
Um, it's just a thought. I mean, I'm just thinking, can yeah. I get some position where I've got a huge centre and nothing's really happening? Uh, so you said King E3 as well as a possibility. Yeah, I thought Knight E7 might be a nuisance then, but then maybe we should. Uh, okay. But, but then Bishop D3, and if Knight F5 check, I'm going to take it and play something good. Uh, Prob yeah, here I don't know. Knight takes d5, maybe, or maybe a rook takes and knight takes d5, but they can cast along then. I mean, I'm just I'm just trying to. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's probably not bad. Castles queen side, presumably. C3, and well, really, White's king isn't that bad, but it's a little bit exposed. Yeah. Probably an engine thinks this is better for white, I'm guessing. One, two, three, four. I mean, white is a pawn up, but I'm not sure if I'd be very happy as white. Yeah. In a game, you know, I'd be a bit scared something bad was going to happen because I'm a human being ish, you know. So, but, but, but I, I don't think, I think it, you know, it shouldn't be too dangerous because you can hold e5 and make black give the exchange. Yeah. If, so if they do something like f6, you just. I thought it was just king f2. I thought maybe it's get out of the way. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not really there. I mean, G5, I'm going to take on Passant. Takes, Bishop takes. I don't really believe it. Take. Well, I thought Pawn takes maybe to a okay. If that, then I'm tempted to take an F6 because then I get a. Yeah, now maybe Queen. Now you know, you're threatening to do stuff, so maybe take, take, take an F6. Take here. Yeah. Take, take an F6, yeah. Because the Bishop and E5 is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Yeah. Allegedly. Huh. So, so in, I mean, maybe black can go sort of g5 now and g4, and it's a bit scary. I mean, I'm definitely scared here. Yeah, because now the dark squares, the white squares are definitely not white's friend at this point. No, we have to get our queen and rook out, I suppose. I mean, rook h3 is coming as well. So, you know, I, I mean, it, or maybe rook h3 in this position as well. I, I mean, you know, presumably, probably you can defend it, but, but but in practice you have quite good chances of not defending it and getting kicked in. Yeah. And thinking that was bad luck. And possibly, <laughs> possibly bad luck. It was possibly more incompetence than bad luck. Um, so White went to so Queen D2, and uh, so with the aim of... Um, giving the, the king the D1 square. Yeah, and just, just yeah, so not... not very, 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 very sensible, actually. Yeah. I mean, King E3 is just, it feels like King's Gambit type move. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, mean I, I sacrifice far more pieces when I'm commentating, of course, than I do in real life. Mm. Obviously. Of course. Obviously. As, as we all do. Okay. So, what happened after Kill Queen D2? I think she went back with the that bishop. The bishop on H4 was a bit misplaced. So, she. Uh, yeah, but it gives the white king a square to run to, which I thought. I suppose you yeah. can't do F2 at the moment because of Knight D4. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the pit and the, so the fork. Yeah, yeah, so King here. This tactic. Yeah. Well, not yet, but if King F2, you do. Yes. So what did White do? So White went Bishop G3. Which still doesn't prepare to move the King, actually. And Black Castle, or thing. Bishop F5. Yeah. A3. Knight A5. And now you can get King now F2. Now King F2. Because now there ain't no Knight takes D4. Yeah. And White is. I want to see Dyson. White is presumably doing doing fairly well because she's got quite a lot of the centre, really. Yeah. What happened then? C five. I'd be interested in playing. A six happened. Okay. Rook at rook e one. Yeah. So let's see if they played any more moves. That was where we were up to. Uh, so we had a six. Okay. And now um, Imogen's actually moved her king across to g two. Okay, that, that's also quite sensible. Yeah. Nice. Right. Seven. I don't quite know what that's doing. I mean, she can't play. I mean, you play probably rookie one or rookie one. Just start playing chess gently. I mean, there's no need for white to do very much now. The knight is awful in B7, really. Yeah. She's probably aiming for C5, isn't she? But Yeah, but, yeah, but the D5 pawn is always on prees. So oh, if I yeah. either play rook AD1 or I play bishop D3. Yeah. But I don't understand. I'm thinking of yeah. playing bishop D d3 and eventually playing for f5 i assume i have the advantage as white yes i think so yeah 
Yeah, so she, yeah, she should have left it there and maybe come into C4 at some point. Well, it's not terribly good, but on the other hand, B B7 is an extraordinarily, I mean, okay, I suppose she, it's on route to E6 eventually. That's yeah. not so stupid, I suppose. I and mean, I think I'm being a bit overcritical, maybe, but I mean, so Bishop D3, I guess she goes Queen D7. And I thought maybe even Knight D1 to play, play Knight E3. Sort of maybe interested in doing, and then play f4, f5, and hold stuff. I don't know what else you can do. Um, I mean, yes, she is actually preparing to bring it to e6, but it's such a long way, yeah. Uh, and it could have gone via d8 to e6 many moves ago, rather um, than going a little detour around the houses and, and the shops, you know. Um, yeah. Oh, it's not that clear a position, I suppose. But yeah, I think Bishop D3 probably take probably Queen D7 then. Or is Queen D7? No, that allows takes Knight D5, which I can't allow. So I'm going to have to take that or move back. If I move back to E6, I block the horse. So Bishop D3, Bishop B6, Knight. I don't know, E1 or D2, C5, C3, and just hold my center. Yeah. Maybe to D1 to e3 and then try to play f4 f5 black can play f5 actually to block it's not such a clear position yeah okay so imogen's played that bishop d3 move yeah. we'll go along to uh, georgia headlong against elise dyson so elise is the sister of imogen whose game we've just seen right um okay and so this one's a french defense exchange so that's like, that's like exchange variation so let's see it But okay. Playing quite positionally, perhaps, or trying to. C3. Yeah. Okay, two is a good move, not D8, not VD2. Hmm, playing quite well. Quite sensible. H3 now or not? Did she play H3? Queen out the way, Queen C2. I thought maybe Bishop H5 now, play probably. And A6. It's a reasonable move as well, just getting the pawn off prees in case the knight ever moves. D3. No, I'd play Bishop H5. I don't particularly like that. That's all right. But it's... H3 now. I'm pleased, pleased to sort the back rank out, actually. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The rook is yeah. on A2. I mean, nothing is really happening, but it's just not worth noting there is a back rank. So she yeah. took, maybe? She actually went back. Okay. Uh, probably rook A1, I'd play, I think. Yeah. So what Georgia did was actually reroute her knight this night. Okay, that's also reasonable. Did she go knight E4 now? Queen F4. Queen F4. That threatens bishop H3, by the way. Oh, yes. A little trick there. Because then you could take the knight on f3. He, he so. I don't see anything else. I normally see. Oh, that. she's allowed it. That wasn't meant to happen. So she took it. Took, yeah. Well, that's ninety-five. A bit dopey, and, and, and now basically white is falling apart. So just take that. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, so if takes, takes, rook takes, pawn takes, bishop. Uh, isn't very clear. Okay, so just play bishop c8 again. Bishop c8 she played, uh, takes, takes, and okay. then she actually recaptured on a6. Okay, so black is slightly better because white, white's king side's a bit, a bit manky in this position. Yeah, you'd, you'd think black could get some kind of attack going. I was thinking something like knight e4, maybe. Well, that was my first thought as well, that I thought, can you play uh, rook e3? Probably it's, it might be a draw, but probably not more. Yeah. Um, I think I actually made a quiet move, bishop d7. No, probably bishop e2, I would think, to, to stop the knight. And bishop there. Now, yeah. should that start to maybe oh. shove, shove an h pawn up a little bit? I mean, white's king side is... Just a bit exposed. Also, actually, knight g4 is interesting. 
It's definitely an interesting move because if my next night you have a oh, you don't have a check because of the back ranks. Sorry. So did you play G6 or, or G6? You can maybe I did take. go G6 just to defend. Yeah. Oh, uh, G6. Sorry, G6, Rook A7, King G7. If push G6, there's Rook E3 in the middle of that. Definitely, if not. Oh, I think you can take it actually as well. Okay, so black looks slightly better to me now, but nothing yeah. in all. I mean, nothing amazing, yeah. I think probably Knight G4 is something of a threat now. If Knight takes Rook checks, Bishop F1 takes. So. Uh, yeah, so, so if, if white just passes somehow. Queen B1, well, Queen B1 now, I can play Rook takes Knight, I think. I would think that's probably going to be okay. Takes, takes, takes. King. Well, King F1, uh, King F1 loses outright to Knight G4. Yeah. So King to there. Now I wanted to play Queen G3, maybe. Or maybe. Maybe even knight g4, but uh, so rook takes bishop doesn't help, bishop takes pawn doesn't help. I mean, black has a huge attack in this position, yeah, because this could come in, yeah, and mate as well. All right, well, knight g4 is a big issue, pretty big threat, yeah, probably basically the end of the game. So, I don't know if king g7, if we could have played. With the king and g8, could she have played rook takes e3 at that moment? Here. Yeah, she probably can because. Oh, oh sorry, there's queen f2 because uh, the knight hangs on f6. That's why she didn't do that. Uh, okay. Excuse me, sorry, that's precisely why she didn't do it. So that's why she defended her horse. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and she defended it with the king. Yeah, 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 yeah just to set it up. So rook takes knight is now a threat, uh, and we can see whether she allowed it. If b4 rook takes knight, it's probably winning. Knight yeah. f1 sort of defends, but then rook um, e1, I suppose. I don't know if you can play g3, maybe you don't want to, but let's just queen b8, probably. Right? And just go away again and claim you're just about. But there is rook takes knight. If rook a1, now you can play rook takes knight and queen takes pawn and check. Oh, that's nice. That's that's very good for black. That's winning yeah. for black, actually. Quite, yeah. quite I mean, because white, white doesn't have a king in this position. Well, she does, but it doesn't really. It's not a very happy little monarch. <laughs> um, yeah, and this right. is pretty winning. So, so we have had a couple of moves. So it went queen d2. Which was precisely to avoid rook takes knight and then queen b8, yeah? Queen actually went back to d6. Could have gone to b8 to hit b3 and make the rook. rook yeah, rook yeah, yeah. The fork. Yeah, because I mean, that's a real pawn you're attacking, I think. So you go back. Now there isn't a takes takes knight g4, is there? Presumably not. But you should, no, of course not. So, okay, so if it were there. Um, I mean, takes, takes, knight, g4, I can play g5 if I have to. Sorry, I can take the knight, I'm just talking absolute rubbish. So, rook a3, and now probably h5, I would think. Teeing up to play h4 and maybe h3, and leave white. White's king side. Yeah. Some, some, something of a storm warning on that side of the board. Yeah. I mean, you play b4, presumably, because that frees your rook and it tees up, or maybe c4. And I'm going to play h4. I'm just going to get on with it. And I do not like white's position at all. Yeah. I think they're playing knight to h5 to f4 now, maybe, or maybe h3 and knight g4. I don't know. That sort of stuff. Yeah. Uh, many okay. Months. Good. All right. So we'll move on to the next one and we'll see how that develops. So this one is Rena Jithendra against Nina Pert. Hmm. And so French Tarash. Nina is black in the French. 
Yeah, the, the, this is well known that this is the point of knight c6 to Guimar, that c3, which is the natural move, you can play e5 and get away with it, even though you're a tempo down. And I think um, if we go back, taking an e5 is a bit suboptimal. Yeah, you, uh, you, yeah, you, you, yeah, you're probably supposed to play. There's an important point which I shall show you if you go back a minute. Uh, mm -hmm. Start. Uh, so if you go after e5, if if pawn takes pawn, queen takes pawn. No, no, pawn takes the other pawn. Yeah. So pawn takes pawn, queen takes pawn. Queen takes pawn. Knight f3. No, no, other other knight to f3. <laughs> knight g1 to f3. Sorry, I should. Oh, no, that's obvious. Yes, you're right. Pawn takes pawn. Bishop c4, queen h5, pawn takes pawn, knight f6, and it's completely crucial that you control d5 so you can take it if white plays d5. Otherwise, that would be a catastrophe for black. Uh, um, so, you know, that would really, really wreck black's position. But since it's, yeah. it's, it's controlled, then d5 doesn't work. Yes. And so... You can go castles, bishop b7 or something. And given that d5 doesn't work, black is okay in this position. Okay. It is known. Yeah. So so, so that's a very well-known variation. Now, now, how clear that is, I don't know. Whether you can... I seem to remember the boys preparing something very similar to this in a Astana at one point. And, you know, going a long way down these lines. And sometimes there are things you can do. But this, I think, is supposed to be okay for black. Yeah. Possibly Bush D6 and Knight E7 as well, I don't know. That might be all right as well. Um, so, anyway, taking an E5 and taking an E4. What did she do? Queen okay. A4? So, so now um, Queen takes Queen. Yeah, Nina took the Queens off. And Knight we captured here. And this is nothing very much for white at all. It looks quite, yeah, quite symmetrical, doesn't it? Well, it's, it's just a question, really, of whether the pawn on c3, is it, if the king can hide in c2, that's quite a good thing. You need it. Knight g4. Okay, so that's... Um, it allows this, which was played. Yeah, but then bishop f5, or f5 is going to... Now you have to go h3. Now, is that... So if we went bishop f5, and if we go back in this position after bishop c7, if we go bishop f5 here. Yeah. Now is that... Maybe you can that looks play, dangerous, doesn't it? Well, maybe you can play knight g3 here because you're hitting the bishop. Because, I mean, knight takes pawn is not going to be very clear, at least not to me. Yeah. Um, takes, takes the bishop. question is whether the horse is trapped or not. I think an engine says, nah, you can't trap that and start squeaking about how awful it is or what. You could maybe go there to try and let it out. Yeah, I'll play knight h3. Uh, but I wasn't sure. I mean, I the, 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 probably this has been played at least once. Yeah. And hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah. You, you've got a tempo with bishop b5 check, which definitely helps. Um, Certainly you need to go bishop c5, because otherwise bishop b5 check was actually made, by the way. Hi, twitchy column. So, so if we go back a move, yeah. um, in this position, if you played, say, g6, then bishop b5 would be checkmate. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That would be a, bit, be a little bit suboptimal. That would be terrible. You don't want to allow that. You don't. No, you don't. You would you'd be an unhappy bunny in that case. Yes. It's not what you want out of the opening. Really, no. Okay. So, so, so I really don't know, but but, but she went eight. But she went H3. Uh, she went, uh, sorry, Nina went F5 and uh, Nina went H3. Pawn takes knight, presumably. Yeah. Pawn takes knight, bish takes pawn with check. F3, I'm not sure if that's good or bishop, bishop B2. Yeah, okay. Knight F3, bishop C5. And this check, but not mate in this occasion. 
Absolutely not. I'm not, I'm not sure if you need to. Maybe you did because of rookie one. Okay, takes, takes. Now, presumably King C2 is good to wear, yeah. King C2 is what she did, yes. It looks a little bit better for white, actually, to me, because the pieces are... That's King is a little bit vulnerable. Yeah, and and white's got a bit of pawn structure there on the queen side as well. Oh, the pawn structure on the queen side is beautiful, yes. Yeah. Probably now rook AD1 to play castles, bishop D6. Rook H5. Well, that's also an interesting move, actually. That is an interesting move as well, because now you're maybe causing a major incident. I didn't see that. I should have done mm. it. Because uh, if bishop B6, probably bishop D6. And, uh, yep, this all happened. And knight D5, Nina's played. Okay, is she just about okay? Maybe she's just about okay, actually, yes, because... Um, perhaps she should have played bishop takes bishop and rookie one. Maybe that would have been better. Let's go back a move. Because uh, uh, 95 is a good move to cut in. So let's look at yeah. take eight. So you could take this. Yeah, which cleans up pawn structure. But now we go rookie one. Yeah. So black will need to. Uh, what? Rook somewhere, rook out, yeah. try and get the rook out. Okay, well, I double my rooks, so rook e5, rook d7, and then I play knight d4, and that must be at least dangerous. Possibly winning or rook. No, you can play maybe king f7. King d8, and then rook takes knight, wins immediately. This was the only move I could see that didn't lose on the spot. And... Now check, you have to go to g6, because if you go to g8, the knight c6 resigns. No. Yeah. And this is very bad, actually, for black, probably. It's not that clear. No, uh, you can go rook e6 check now, and then rook f7, and then you win. He wins the little pawns, rook f7. This is horrible. <laughs> well, this is lost, yes. So pro probably bishop takes bishop and rook e1 was good. I was wondering about rook a5, but it's not a very happy little move. I but. was looking at that, yeah. Rook e1 and just rook a5. And I thought well, black might not want, because the pawns get messed up again. Well, but. I can just go rook takes rook and rook e5 and win a pawn, if I if I want uh, to. And that probably that, that would be enough to give a clear advantage, big advantage. I mean, yeah. then I get, you go something like king d7 or king f7 and, and rook takes pawn knight d5, but, you know... I mean, there's rook to the seventh check as well. And actually, that's going to defend the, the G. Sorry, that's right. You have to have the king and f7, sorry. Okay. But if you go knight c7, it's ridiculous, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I hadn't noticed it was legal. I, I mean, that's why I'm whinging. Yeah. But, 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 you know, but your possession, if you go passive with your knight, you're not going to be... No, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to start pushing. Knight c7 is the best move by, by a mile. I mean, I should have seen it. I'm just whinging because I'm so incompetent. <laughs> but... Uh, no, 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 but knight c7, knight e5 check actually wins, Natasha. I mean, that yeah. actually wins the house and the garden. Oh, it does, it does, because this is four con f7. You have to go king c8, knight takes pawn, rook f8, and pretend you, you have a possession then. Because you do win the g2 pawn, but you are playing against three connected passes on the queen side. Yeah, it's horrendous. Mm, yeah. Uh, um, I mean, if you get the g2 pawn, I suppose you can fight. But I, I mean, I don't believe your position's playable, but it doesn't matter. Mm. You know, you, you can still play chess. Still play it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the time, you know, you just have to play moves, even if you don't like your position very much. There's nothing much to be done. But but she didn't. She played bishop d6, didn't she? Where did we get to? She went bishop d6, yes. So Now knight d5. Now, um... Check, there's 93 check. It's not that clear. It's position. Um, I mean, maybe we can get control of this position as white. But would I be... It's not so clear, this position at all. Or at least it isn't to me. Because uh, if rookie one check, maybe you play 93 check. Because if takes, takes rookie five, king d7... What's actually happened? This has happened, has it? No, 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 no. It's, I just this has, but um, I was just getting the analysis. This is fine. I, I mean, this is a reasonable, reasonable way to play. So, so King three, she castles long. This is what happened. Yeah, Bishop here. Yeah. Rook d seven. 
Double. Yeah, h6 and g4. And white presumably is a bit better because of the uh, king side, but I mean, it's not that clear. The bishop isn't that stable. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think white's better, but it's not unplayable for black. You got rook b7 sometimes to, to cause some sort of threat of discovery. Mm. Well, white's king isn't completely stable yet. Yeah, because I suppose if the king's side, if these king side pawns all come off, then white's a pawn up. But then but you, you still have to try and win the end game, don't you? You have to try the word to win the end game with three against two, which is not too terrible. All righty, let's see the next one. So this next one is actually finished already. Black one by checkmate. Let's uh, let's whiz through it. So this is um, Pratchett Aurora against Camilla Kalash or Pashnikova. Oh, so it's one of the many, many Bishop F4 thingies, mm -hmm. which all look almost the same until you've played a few games, which I haven't. Knight B3 I don't like very much. Don't see what the Knight is doing on B3, really. Yeah. I mean, it's playable, but it's not what I'd be doing. And Black is very comfortable already. Uh, knight D7, did she play F4? I mean, actually, after F4, if you played F4, at least it would make some sense of you, but I suppose, I don't know. Well, you can t you can you can take on d7 and b. You could take on d7, and if queen takes, play bishop b4 and knight c5. Actually, that would also be perfectly playable. That would make quite a lot of sense for your position. Yeah. So knight takes, and if queen takes, just take take the knight. Bishop b4, bishop b4, knight c5, something. Knight takes bishop, and white's slightly better, I suppose. So actually, it's gone better for white than I expected. Something's gone slightly wrong for black somewhere here. Uh, okay, so what happened? So, but knight g4 was a very odd move. I mean, maybe a threat to go f3 and do something, but so what did black do? c5, c5. that's the most critical move, yes. It takes, takes. Well, I mean, black's just got the advantage now, you know, unless there's some sort of scam with queen d4, knight is not queen is pawn, which is not absolutely inconceivable, but okay. F3, so she took on C2. Agree, yes, and her, her very sensible. C1, castles, castles. She's just doubling her rooks, isn't she? B4. She is. She's just uh, making sure she controls the C5. Okay, so oh, we can swap queens, so there's not a scary pin. Well, well, there's nothing happening at all. Yeah, all right. So that black's just a pawn up for nothing. And now she's two pawns up for nothing. Yep. And well, we don't uh, really need that to. was enough. That was that was enough. And black yeah. won the end game. I would have played h4 there actually just sort of automatically to control a dark square to be even more unkind to her. But I mean, you know, that's fine, of course. The two extra connected the two extra pass pawns in the centrum. They What's were that? enough, yeah. They were more than enough, I would think. More than enough. All right, now John, you've got your favourite, the London system. Splendid. Splendid. Uh, okay. Well, I, I am in London, and the weather is. What is the weather? Let me see. I'll just. Uh, not quite, not quite today. Ready. Yeah. Well, 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 where are you? I don't. I never know exactly where you are. I'm in. Anyway. I'm in Epsom, John. You're in Epsom, right? Yes. Right. So you're a little way, way outside the important metropolis. Yeah, within the M25. Indeed. But Dr. Nan has now moved away from you. I don't know if you know. He has. He's where's he Cornwall? He's he, but he's now completely in Cornwall. Okay. Yes. They've sold the not Godalming. Where were they? Uh, uh, near Chertsey. Wasn't Chertsey. It? Yeah. Uh, Lee is it called? Not Lee. You know what's it called? Don't remember. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. I would know if you said it. <laughs> yeah. So would I. <laughs> if I said it, I would know it as well. <laughs> That's true. I don't like knight c6 very much. I don't see why you block your c pawn. I mean, you can do, You've but you know. You have these actually in the last few days of knight c6. Yeah, yeah but, but, but you can just play a3 and stop knight b4. And then you can play for c4 later and say, well, what's that horse doing there? Mm. What do you like to play next? Yeah. Uh, so h6. h3. c4 is all right. Knight c3. 
H3 is a good yeah. move as well. That's the sort of move I'd play at H5. I would have probably kept my black dark squared bishop because I like my dark squared bishop. I don't need to. What does she do? Bishop G3. Okay. Right, C3. I'm not sure if I'd have played bishop D3 or I'd have tried to play one more waiting move. But okay, this yeah, is one more. Yeah, try yeah. and get the tempo again. But I mean, oh, that's dangerous so early. There's a Especially question. This, this knight here might get. Well, well, it's, all, it's also there's some danger that white's going to get control of the c5 pumped, which would not be a good thing for black. Bishop d3 or right. bishop a2, bishop b3, I don't know which uh, one. Bishop d3. Yeah. Well, that's terribly passive. Now, b4, I'm not sure I like, because now maybe a5 would get some play, even if you lose a pawn. I would have been interested in playing knight e, rook c1 and trying to put my knight on c5, after which I would have a Catalan with my bishop on d3, which I'd be very happy about. Yeah. So yeah I just want to control the C5. Oh, look, let's draw an arrow for the pawn going backwards. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So leave the pawn there and, 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 and play on C5. Yeah, indeed, yeah. I mean, that goes now 94, presumably. Yes. Okay, that's still enough. Yeah, not so clear now, maybe after E5. What did she do? Pretty castle. Rook, rook C1 or not? Rook C1, I like. Yeah, she didn't actually. She castled. Yeah, people tend to. Did I don't know if anybody saw Duda's game yesterday. Duda played a beautiful game against uh, Kariakin yesterday in the final of the World Cup. Yeah. Uh, and, and he basically put his king on e2 quite early because just because the king was safe there. I, I, I mean, I think I'd play rook c1 here because. Yeah, because Oh, I don't really see how black is going to. I mean, if bishop takes that rook, takes bishop a5, I suppose is interesting, but not. Yeah. Good. So I... this rook c1 kind of mean blunts this a5 a bit, I suppose. Well, I mean, it prepares to play knight takes bishop and bishop b4, winning material. I mean, you can play knight takes bishop, actually. It's not a bad move at all. Knight takes bishop and rook c1. Black has to move the rook, then you can play. Queen C2 or something. Maybe play G4 and G5 if you're feeling frisky. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to be one moment. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. And so both had castled. And Black actually took off this knight to avoid some of those lines. And now this rook very sensibly is lining up on the D file. And let's see, does white bring the queen out of the way? Yes. Um, e5. So this is another of these kind of double edged moves because it means white is better able to control those squares. Um, I'm thinking black is, is looking at trying to do this at, at some stage, but can't do it yet. Uh, white would not want to play here i think because um you're blocking your own pieces so i'm imagining white just move. okay so white blocks it with the bishop that makes much more sense but now black is playing f5 um and of course the bishop can't drop back here because uh, there'll be a fork so uh, white will have to i was looking actually at um white going here check um Sorry, keep excuse me uh, You're right. yeah this is less good i mean you know you've got you've got blocked c file and i mean i would have taken back with the b pawn probably on c5 but just you know if you can just get control it's so lovely i think that takes bishop and rook c1 was really quite strong yeah and, and then play g4 and g5 and you know you're attacking on both sides of the board here it's not so clear Bishop d5 check? That's what I was that's what I was thinking, but she actually took on um c6. That, that I don't like at all. because uh, now now black hits a very good bishop and holds the e5 point. I thought I could maybe go bishop d5 check and try to go queen c3. Um but actually rook e8 probably isn't. Okay, so I go bishop d5 check. Yeah. King somewhere, probably h8. Yeah. All right, so we were here, yeah. so bishop d5 check, king h8. 
Quincy three. And just uh, piling up more pressure on that. Um, yeah, I'm trying to. So now you do have the threat of taking on c6. I taking. do threaten to take, yeah. And if e4, I can play bishop takes knight and knight e5, and I've got the position. Probably yeah. the knight is not quite not quite stable there, but probably I can do this. I don't know. It's pretty nice if it manages to get in here or take this one or. Well, well I mean, they go bishop e8. They go bishop e8, then. They have got bishop coming to h5. Is slightly more irritating than I was intending. Uh, I'm not so sure about this actually. Yeah. Um, I just think I'm going to do this because, hmm, you know, because the knight isn't quite. I suppose it's going to c6 in that case. All right. So, so they'll have to take and play. But okay. So yeah, one of the rooks to d1 then. Yeah. Because if bishop h5. No, this rook is important actually, yeah. Because now if bishop h5, knight c6 wins. If it's the other if it's the other rook, then rook takes rook is check. Ah yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So that just wins. Just wins. Yeah. And so they can't do that. So they probably have to play rook takes rook. And then rook takes rook takes. And if bishop h5, rook d7. And Again, the knight isn't entirely stable, but probably, probably something very bad is about to happen on g6 or somewhere on g7. Queen f6. It's not over actually. Queen f6. Now I play queen d4. Probably or do, or, or no. Uh, now if I take them c7, they got rook d8. Which probably doesn't matter. If rook e8, I have knight f7, queen takes queen, and rook takes bishop with a much better rook ending. So maybe you have to move your king now. Yeah. So rook e8, yeah. knight to their check, yeah. Yeah. So that's more or less winning for... You can maybe play king h7 or something. It's I suppose good. if you do, you know, even if you don't mate and you're taking that c-pawn, then then this c-pawn's going to be strong, uh, like past pawn. Oh, 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 it should be very good for white, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I mean, the double pawns actually here are very nice for white because they stop black. Black is very hard to get any real counterpoint. Yeah. These are quite... It's quite safe, the king, isn't it, here behind those? Pretty safe, yeah. All right. So it went like this. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't know if she needs to... I would have thought that bishop is a beautiful, beautiful piece, and I would rather like to keep like to keep him or her. I don't know if it's him or her. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to maybe try to go h5, h4 or something to destabilise the king. So I think this must be okay as well. So what happened now? Queen h5 or something? F4 <laughs> happened. It's interesting. Takes, takes. And queen b3 check. King h8. G4. And now h5, surely. And oh not God. yet. Uh, queen g6. But of course you play h5 in that position unless you think queen e6 is going to... So h5... Screams out. To what would you, do? you might, you might try that to try and oh, get you. Well, I see you. You're trying to do that. So if you did that, you treated. You, take, that. you got a trick. Sorry, I'm being stupid. Perhaps I'm being stupid. I don't know. H5 came to there. Can I do something clever? Uh, I can go rook to f6 to h6. Hi, Ocelot. So here we, we can also do that, and here. Yes. And the claim is that eventually black breaks through the strongest possible terms with extreme prejudice and such things. <laughs> it does look... Well, I mean, there's maybe rook, rook a g1, so... Ah, not so okay. clear. If pawn takes pawn, you go rook takes rook. Have to play pawn takes. Maybe king f1 on a good day. Maybe. Sorry, I probably not. I mean, there, there are some. You could do. Oh no, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. You uh, can't go pawn to its pawn and mate because the queen. That was what I was going to try and do, but the queen's actually defending this square. I'm kindly defending, isn't she? Yeah. And yeah. Naughty queen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I can play h5, Goddy, or I can play, I can play g3 and have a pretty good position. I mean, white has some checks, but it's not going to be terribly good for white here. Yeah. I think white's king is at least as bad as black's in this position. Yes. 
It's a little bit complicated. Yeah. All right. So she didn't play h5, but this looks promising for that. Well, well if, if we go back a couple of moves, I mean, given that that isn't so clear, then, then what, I, what I want to know, yeah, I mean, is is whether I could have done something with e4 to get my queen to f3 and maybe... I mean, can I play a bit more positionally? So let's go. Let's go back a few moves. To h five. No, 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 no. Go back when she played f four. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, f four. Yeah, because I wasn't sure f four was right. I thought queen h five was interesting. Maybe instead of queen h five, king g two, e four takes takes. Oh, she can play queen takes. Sorry. Uh, no, no, that, that, that's not interesting. Uh, if you're covering the e four square, that's not interesting. So. It just seems a bit sad that she's. Um... Oh wait a minute! No, um... one one question is whether I could go f4 and take that with a rook, but there'll probably be queen b3 check at some moment. So this is not. Perhaps she did the right thing. Yeah, quite possibly. Um... Okay, that makes that's a reasonable move. So what happened? Actress well, looks on. Well, I mean, it looks as though White should be, White should get enough activity now to be all right in a good day. So did she? She now went King G two, yeah. Do, yeah, takes takes, and this is where we are. Well, this is probably well, this is where my analysis is. Let's see where we actually are. Uh, so um, H five, King G two, takes takes. H four, she played. Well, this is clearly better for white now. I mean, one thing you can do is you can go h4. I mean, you could take on g4, couldn't you? Oh, no, 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 yeah. Um, I mean, you can maybe play queen f7, and I can go rook h5 and queen d3 and take an h4, and I just want a pawn for nothing very much. Rook h1 maybe is okay, but I thought maybe queen g5 would defend it on queen f6. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she did queen h6, the same idea. Yeah, that does, doesn't look as good. Queen now she's on queen g5 and queen yeah because she, she's in danger of it's still black is under pressure but i mean the rook was better on e5 i think because it could go to h5 and also Definitely. yeah 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 this there compared with there yeah but because then you know you're don't have to take the h pawn either but you want to be able to so what's happened now they they got to here there we are so let's let's look a different one so um, probably probably queen d7 is quite a big threat now yeah. I mean, the thing is, White's king is completely safe now, yes. which is very yeah. bad news. There's for no White. threat to open up the position anymore now. This pawn's gone. Yeah, Good. and then, then these three pawns completely defend the king. So this is probably plus over line. Yeah, so looking good for White. All right, Queen Ashwina against Chess Queen 960. So it's Ashwina Haria Skuza against Tashika Aurora. So Tashika Aurora. John, she's been playing three standard play games a day because she's playing in the junior section, the women's section, and also the championship in the evenings. So she's she has been playing a lot of chess this week. Well, she has my admiration and sympathy. <laughs> I, mean, I can't imagine playing three standard games a day on the internet. No, no, not 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 for like a week more than a week in a row. I'm not sure if uh, I think d5 is, yeah, uh, okay, well, let's not worry about it. So takes 95, c6, bishop b6. This must be a theoretical position, more or less. Knight a4, yeah? Yeah, that's what goes off. Knight c5. Knight c5, yes, she played it. Okay, and how much? That is B7 should be plus equals, I assume. She's taken it, and takes, and. Being very sensible, actually. Rook to there. Okay, now can we take a pawn now? 
if we can, we probably want to just take and see six if nothing bad happens. She did not. She went H3. It looks like you can take on H uh, C6. Well, I, I mean, the take and C6, the only, the only yeah. question of whether rook C8 is a problem, and I don't believe it is after knight D6 and knight B5 and knight D4. Um, the, the, this is not so. so I, th I think you just take the pawn. So, I definitely, if so, I can't take a pawn, I do. I'm very greedy. So, yeah. HS. So the only question was whether rook c8 is a problem. But actually, knight d6, rook c7, knight e8, it resigns. So nothing happens at all here. Or rook takes, rook takes, check, king g2, bishop d5. Uh, rook takes, knight takes, plus like the line at least. Probably. Um, with, with knights on the board, rook and knight against, well, e4 now. Is quite important because then you go up to the seventh. Should be winning, really. Yeah. Up to the seventh. And you can't actually defend this one, can you? No, if you can't defend that one, it's very bad news. Yes. Yeah, okay, so that should be a win. Well, you play king f6, I think, to. Because ever it takes king e6, you're trying to make some trouble, but I mean, basically, here, here, rook b7, knight d3, this isn't so clear because then. Then black gets gets a go against um no knight d3. Knight d3. And now black gets a go against f6 f2 as well. Perhaps you can go knight to f7 though. And bring your knight back. I mean if rook, rook a2 I can go check and knight h3 maybe. Oh and no, I can play rook f7, so rook f7 should be winning here. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It, it's definitely right. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that should be enough, I think. I mean, I haven't proved it completely, but it's yeah, looks good. I mean, you can play h6 and win one pawn back, but you're you got you got good ch good chances of yeah here. No, I don't. Well, not f3 goes king e4 and pretends to be all right. <laughs> um. I mean, this isn't that clear a position. Knight h3, you play g5 or something. Well, you do play g5. And this is still not completely over or anything. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously very good for white, but um, white is going to look for a way to clean this up. And I don't, I don't actually see the clean way to play. You know, I, I managed to make a bit of trouble. Yeah. Because white's pieces are passive. I yeah. Mean, you know, I mean, these, these positions, that they don't just finish because you because you win a pawn or something. You know, the game continues. Yeah. But of course, it's better for white. Okay. So I think that's that's all the game. So let's look at Ketty's again. So when we left it, we had, I think we had, um, where were we? We definitely. We had a position like this where, where Black had just what had just gone e4 as well, which we thought we weren't very impressed by. When d3, queen d7, e4, and e4. that's where we where we was. Yes, and Bishop g4 did happen. Uh, queen d2, and uh, Ketty actually chose to exchange this off. Yeah. Come in onto d4 with that knight, so that knight is looking really nice there. Here and then h5. Okay. White met with h4. King h7. King h7. C1. And then the bishop out onto this diagonal. F4 is forced. And then uh, knight g4. Bishop c1. I'm not sure that's a terribly good idea, but it's not that clear a position, actually. I mean, you know, there's nothing very, very wrong with White's position. Yeah. So she took it, I assume. She, she actually went f5. Okay. f3 and knight f6. Okay. X takes queen d2, king h7, f4. So we get this uh, position with lots of uh, tension in the center there. There is, there is a lot of tension right to there. Yeah. Knight d5. Could she take it? It's symmetrical as well, isn't it? <laughs> well, 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 you've got a knight against a bishop. She's taken. Yeah. I'm not sure knight d5 is a terribly good move. I mean, it's difficult now. 
Yeah, and she's never going to be able to take this night because it's on a dark square. She ain't going to be able to take that night. It's a question of whether it's a beautiful piece or, or misplaced. That's never quite clear. Yeah. Um, so Queen G7. That's quite sensible, perhaps. King H2, B6. Uh, so, so, she's, so she's letting her opponent do the work. She doesn't know what to do, particularly. <laughs> quite sensible. You could do it, and that's where we're up to, actually. Um, well, I mean, it's a beautiful horse in D4, but I don't know if she's going to go A5 and try to... But, I mean, you're not going to be able to do stuff, are you, on the queen side? Well, it's... I thought she could maybe have taken an F4 at some moment. I wasn't sure that wasn't possible. And if pawn takes taken again and going queen G4, I was wondering how that would have been. Um, yeah. So, like, before here... Yeah, but I mean, I think Queen F2 might defend. Um, it, it, I mean, it's, a, it's not as good a position as... Ketty probably knows how to beat people with this strength better than I do. Yeah. I, I think doing nothing for a bit is quite a good plan, actually. It's yeah, that's what she did. She just kind of shuffled around and... Um, and I guess she can always kind of... You know, everything is reversible on these ones, so, well... You can kind of shuffle back again if you want to. You're allowed, you're allowed to shuffle as much as you want, really, yeah. Hmm. But it's not completely clear to me. I mean, you know, I don't know yeah. what the engine takes. Okay. So then Akshaya. Now, this one was uh, this um, Grand Prix attack, and we weren't convinced, were we, by uh, White's attack. We had this... Um, we were magnificently unconvinced. We were unconvinced. Yeah. Uh, so, and Black, Black is winning now, but I mean, yeah. the simplest so we, move is probably Bishop C6. We definitely had that in. Yes. No, we didn't have XF6 in yet, did we? We had um, Knight G5. That was in. And you, then. You um, D4 check, did you? Actually, I went Bishop D4 check, King H1, and F6 to stop any mates. And Knight H7, presumably. Bishop F8. And then she took here, and uh, Bishop B7. She took here. Yeah, I don't think she's done it particularly well. I mean, it's all right. It's winning, I suppose. Okay, yeah. let's, have, let's have a think about this. How much is she up? Quite a lot. But okay, knight D5 now, presumably. Knight D5 happened, yes. Queen D8, C3. Yeah, C3 or E5. So I thought maybe E5 first. Yeah, this is... I mean, white needs to do something quickly before black gets reorganised, because if black can just organise, yeah. black has more lumps than white. Yes, so this C3 might help black. Might, I don't know. What happened now, B6? E5 now. So actually, it looks like she's... Uh, she's just getting in. She just sort of swap off in the centre. Yeah. She's not taking much notice, actually. <laughs> and that's where we are. And black is many, uh, basically two pawns up or something, effectively. Got the yeah. two bishops and a knight against, and a pawn against a rook and knight, which is just winning. I mean, white, yes. white can fiddle around a bit, but probably black can make white in a bit if, if she wants to. Go to the G4 and start doing things. And you know, there are going to be just more pieces to attack with than there are to defend. Yeah. And rook b8 made a lot of sense. I thought bishop c6 was good as well, too. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, was, it was rather unnecessary. Yeah. I mean, there's no. Okay. Uh, so imagine here so now. Yeah. So this was this. Vienna, this was this King's gambit type thing, wasn't it? Well, it must be winning for white now, mustn't it? Um, so we had it somewhere around here. Well, 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 so, so, so she managed to... Yeah, we can understand what the sort of things that happened. Sure. And white's just uh, now got back to playing on the king side, like you want to do with your King's gambit type. Openings. Wasn't looking like it for a while. So 
She doesn't okay, quite so they are, they're, they're shuffling a bit at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, so how would one break through? I mean, she's thinking, can I? F6, I suppose. F6, G6 takes. The pawn takes, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's well, takes, rook takes, rook takes, takes E6. Looks pretty strong, doesn't it? I mean, F6, G6, pawn takes, pawn takes, E6. Do we really think the black is going to be able to stop those 12 pass pawns? <laughs> So takes, takes, oh, just e6. Yeah, I, I mean, because rook e7 for the moment is legal because if you just put the queen in e5, and, you know, then I'll, then I'll ask black rear whether she's happy. She's not. This is horrendous. Well, it's completely winning, of course, yeah. Absolutely okay. splat. Okay. All right. And then her sister is black in this game. So, so, so was it black sister or white sister? White the sister. sister of the person. Imogen was playing white in this. Right, image. okay, yeah. And then Elise is playing black here, the sisters. And she's a, not a pawn up at the moment, but she has slightly better pieces. Uh, uh, actually, not that clear. I mean, it should be good for black, I assume. But Okay, so you go rook h3 and you get that pawn. Yeah, yeah. And the game continues. I mean, white tries to get some counterplay somehow and doesn't believe that she can, but she tries. <laughs> yeah, that knight, you might want the knight over here, I suppose. Um, well, I think you have to sort of open the center up and just try to do something, because otherwise black just goes and takes a pawn and resets, and then queens. Queens this one. Well, one of them, the F and the because yeah. you're going to have two connected pass pawns. Yeah. So I, I suppose you might go knight to. I mean, I mean, it doesn't look like it's remotely pliable, but you can try, you know. Yeah. Um, you just do the best you can. Rook to there is winning a big pawn. Yes. All right. So here we are. This one was. Um, Nina Pert. Nina Pert, yes. And we had this knight only on d5, so a lot's happened since then. Yeah. Uh, so queen b3 castles. Yeah. Can you go H seven? Let's check one check. Check, yeah. So she Nina's has, going for mate. She is she is, I mean I'm not sure uh round about there what was going on. Rook to there, rook to there. Um probably not quite working for black, but um the night here and here happened as well. And this is where we are. I'd be worried about the Zoch pawn, though. I might be tempted to just take the rook and take on h6. You have to take that with the bishop, of course, because if you take with the rook, then bishop b... Oh, no, actually, bishop b7 and knight. And maybe you don't, because you've got h7 at the end. But you don't want knight c4. Oh, so what about bishop b7 straight away? Well, there's a question. Is knight, knight c4 check playable in this point? It isn't, is it? Takes, takes, check, king a4, and there's... Oh, she's that. done it. Nina, oh, done this. Nina it really is going for me here. <laughs> well, of course she is, yes. You've played is. b4 now. Right, so how's this? Not particularly scary, actually. For... Yeah, uh, if you check on c4, king, king b2, b3, b3 yes. Uh, you could go knight d2 check. The trouble is, if you get a discovered check on the second line, then your rook's being attacked. So it's indeed. Yeah. So basically, what's going to happen is that she's going to do a couple of checks and then then be in trouble. I would say. All right. She's so bailing it's... out, which is oh That's... no, hang on. But then she can pick up the bishop at the end, no, but then the h pawn queens. Oh, no, then bishop takes. Okay, so. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, pawn takes g7 was interesting, by the way, in that position. Uh, yeah. but, but anyway, this is just much better for white. Now, you yeah. may probably play rook takes pawn here. Um, or is c5 then a nuisance? Yeah, I wasn't sure that was right or whether she should have gone knight c6 first. Uh, now c5 is the only move to cause some trouble. Yeah. 
but maybe knight c6 will be winning, I don't know. Pawn takes, knight c4 check, king a4, knight checks, king a5, probably nothing happens at all. Then this is just going to go out into a draw. Well, of course it's check after bishop there, so you go rook c6 first, and then you take. It's a rook c6 check. Yeah. Yeah. The king in that way. Well, did, or did you come out here? Well, you can't go to b8 because you ain't allowed to. Oh, that's illegal because of this bishop. It oh, is. Right there. <laughs> so we better go out then. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm going to play pawn to its pawn. Because I'm greedy. They're going to get knight c4 check, and I'm going to play the only legal move. And there is either rook b2, which might be a good move, or there is knight f5 played. That might be a good move as well, actually. I don't know. I don't think so, because if takes knight takes, takes, knight c4 check, king b3, rook takes pawn with check. Yeah. King c3, and is, is that winning material? Maybe it is, actually. Maybe knight f5 was a really good move, actually. Really was. So check. So knight c4 check. King b3. King b3. Well, that's certainly the best move, king b3. Uh, so we could um, we could go rook b4 check. Yeah, but after king c3, there are quite a lot of boys and girls on prees. <laughs> Um, all right, then um, oh, she's done it. Oh gosh, I, think I was thinking good. bishop f8, but uh, then there's rook c6, isn't there? Well, there's rook c6, and there's rook h8, is simpler. There are a lot of boys and girls on prees, you're right. There are, they've all come out to play at the same time, which is a bit sad. We might get Bishop and Bishop and Knight against King, I suppose, and a good day for Black. Yeah. Or Rook and Bishop against Rook and a bad day. I mean, the girl's Black. only got five minutes left, right? So you could yeah. you could try and make them mate with a Bishop and Knight or something like that. You certainly could. You could certainly try to. Whether you can is another matter. Mm. Okay, right, yes, we can, let's go a different one. Um, so, oh, this is this one with the, 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 the king sitting safe because the h-pawn advanced. Yeah. And white has now managed, because we didn't like the rook on h1, so it has now come round onto that fifth row. Presumably queen e4 is a bloody strong move now, probably a winning move. I mean, black has every chance of being mated, really, I would think. It does look strong. Queen here. Very centralised and also attacking many, that many much discoveries. Yes. Threatening something like rook f6. Check and queen e8 check and queen h5 check and queen h6 mate, for instance. But I hadn't noticed that you could play king back to h7 in the middle of that. So that wasn't quite mate. Uh, anyway. But even if you don't have... Oh! Oh, Greek girl. I mean, that's the Alpha Zero King. <laughs> they always put it. It always puts it on H three. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know much more about Alpha Zero than I do, of course. Yeah. Uh, well, it likes having its king just there. But in this position, maybe you would. It does I like move bit, here, though. But it that... looks, a, looks a bit unnecessary. I mean, it's not. I'm sure it's not bad. Oh yeah. my God. So, so now Queen E four or something. And the Queen in A three really isn't doing very much, is it? She's rather a long way away from. Yeah. The relevant set. Queen sector. E4 still looks good. And Queen E8 and Rook F8 is one interesting idea. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm not Queen E8 because of this I'm one. Queen yeah. F3, sorry. Oh, she's bringing the king back. Yeah, but you can be Queen E4. 
He should have played 24, but Hinter there is also. I mean, basically, White's going to play a strong move next move. It's going to be very hard. <laughs> a little bit desperate, isn't she? No, no Queen E8. Yeah. Queen E8, Queen hits pawn, Rook F8, presumably, is winning. Yeah. You're still worrying about whether that she's going to just um, give the queen up for a rook at some point and try and queen the pawns or something. But you can't because the king's open. Black king's too open. So. Wow, you can't possibly queen the pawn. Not from b5. If it's in b2, you can sometimes do mm -hmm. things. But probably either queen e6 will win or queen e6, there's queen c4, c6. That's such a wimbly move. I mean, it's all right, but it's not necessary. What's that saying? Observing it's game. Yes, we are observing the game. Yes, it's saying, are you still there? It does Am that. Yeah. Even though I'm moving pieces around on the board and whatever, it's, it asks yeah. me. Hmm. Well, we've got about, what, 10 more minutes, haven't we, of this before the yes. round ends? Yes. Good, because I have a lesson at three, which I re oh, re okay. Fine. Yes. Which I, I reorganised slightly dopely. I was got reorganised from yesterday and I wasn't thinking about it. Yes. Uh, but I mean, the yeah, we should be the game should be should be pretty much done. They should be done by then. Yes, I mean, I don't particularly like. I mean, now Queen D three. Queen D three definitely is a strong move. Yeah, because if Queen C four, then rook. Actually, Queen D three, Queen C four, Rook F seven, double check, King. Oh, is there somewhere you can go? No, because you can play Queen takes Queen or Rook takes Rook. So. So queen d3 must win completely. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you can't play without a king when you're in a queen and rook ending. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I sort of feel like staying with this one because I think there's going to be a mate soon, but... Uh, but well, yeah, we, we, can, we can watch checkmate happening. What yeah. happened? She went h3, which is less. I mean, you should nick the pawn if you can. Now black could try and bishop d5 maybe or something. I don't know. Try yeah. to make a bit of trouble. I mean, it, obviously, it's not very good for black, but... Oh, sorry, there's loads more happened since then, actually. Okay, good, okay. Not all, no. Oh. So she does eventually take this one. Oh, she's managed okay, to... so we've got to rock for two pieces. Yeah, black should be drawn this really, I think. Or has she managed to make it dangerous yet? Not really, I don't think. She's making an effort. Put to the seventh would be a good idea just to make the king and now just sit. Just wait here. Okay, they're going to draw a bit. I'm sure that was particularly bright. Uh, yeah, now no, I might, might be a bit better again. For no very good reason. Well, well she should have, should have taken and played f3. Because then she could try to win the h7 pawn. Uh, Either f3 or takes, king takes f3. And try to play pawn takes pawn and rook takes h7 and play that. Which, I mean, given how it's gone up to now, you should probably win, I think. Oh, I don't, don't like f4 much. I don't like. Uh, I would like to play f3 so I can control some white squares. But, but, but I mean, she shouldn't have allowed the h pawn to live. Yeah. How are we doing now? Check. King. This pawn could be. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I mean, it shouldn't be. Violent, it? Don't you? I mean, you should be able to make a draw, probably, is. Yeah. Okay. Let's just see if any checkmates have happened. Oh! Oh, dear God. What happened here? So we had. Hoosiers. Hoosiers. What's happened? So we had the C6, so this is where we were. Yeah. Christ. Ah, she swapped off. Yeah, uh, yeah. so we were looking at Queen D3, which I think is stronger. Just to I, mean, I was teaching together. somebody a while ago who didn't realise that Queen and Rook against just give checkmate. It's funny, I mean, you know, somebody who's got quite good but just doesn't have the experience of knowing that yeah. that's the end of the game, and it is the end of the game. So swapping the Queens is insane. 
absolutely awful thing to do because because now black's okay. Yeah, and it's only a pawn up, and it's such a doubled pawn. Well, also, white has nowhere to get the king out. Yeah. Okay. So do you think this is a draw now? Well, it's completely drawn. Yeah. I mean, how can white explain to me how white can do anything at all? No, it can't. No, she can't. Because her king is cut off by the beautiful rook and e6. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think so yeah, 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 my advice, yeah, advice yeah, to white would be right. give checkmate when you can. Because it should be it should be mating. For of course, you should with the queen, queen and a rook. Yeah. No, that right. that's really, really vast an experience. I mean, not knowing that a queen and a rook. Once you start giving check with a queen and a rook, then you carry on giving check. There, there was one again in the World Cup, wasn't there, where Duda beat somebody like Vidit with queen and rook against queen, rook and three pawns, and there was check, 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 check. <laughs> it was basically what happened. I think right. agree this game has been agreed to draw now. It has, yeah. Yes. Um, I mean, actually, White did manage to draw with a, a higher rated... Yes, yes, yes. No, I mean, I wouldn't look. If I was teaching this kid, I, I wouldn't. Is it a kid or how strong is it? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, um, I just say to this person, when, they're, when their king is so exposed, then you should be a bit more ambitious. Oh, my God, she's, yeah, 2011 she was born, so she's right. only 10. If that, nine or 10. Probably nine or 10. Yeah. Well, she's, she's a small child. I mean, I wouldn't be unkind, obviously. But, but, I, but I would say... Um, do you realise just how strong an attacking force these bods are? Yeah. You know, and make, make a mild fuss. <laughs> Very okay. mild fuss. Let's see, let's see, Ketty. Uh, she's declined a draw. Ketty's declined a draw. Good heavens, how, how extraordinary are they extraordinary? <laughs> she has. This has been happening. So I'm just going to go into Right, those are exchanged. I'm going into Skype and I'm going to leave a message for this guy. Actually, we have a queen and rook again. So let's see what Cassie does with it. Oh, okay, I, I've left a message for this guy. So that's. Oh, she's managed to. Yeah, she's winning now, isn't she? Win. Sure. Yeah. That's, I didn't see how that happened, but that is very good. Queen G3 she'll play, obviously. She, she came in with lots and lots of checks and just kind of yeah. hoovered up the pawns as she went. Obviously, anybody remotely competent plays. Yeah, you're right. Resigns. Yeah. Okay. And this is this is going to be a win. This is trivial. Okay. Akshaya now. She. Oh, look. She's won. Uh, She's won. She ended up with more more boys and girls than her opponent. Girl as well. The girl must have promoted somewhere. <laughs> okay. Um, Georgia. I, I, I know she had a queen already, didn't she? And what's this? This is very interesting. Is this? So, yes. So this is Georgia the, the, the against the Now, let's see what's just happened. King G5. So black has not done this very well. And probably it's now a draw, is it? In fact, you have to be a little bit careful that nothing bad happens to you. I mean, it shouldn't do, but... I had an ending with Mark Hebden once where he was trying to beat me with a king and knight against a king, bishop and two pawns. And eventually I managed to, to squirm out and win, but it involved a lot of a lot of squirming. <laughs> so king d6, knight f4, rook e1, probably it's... King F six maybe. I mean, I mean, it should be a draw now with, with White's pieces this good. So King F six, Knight here, and then probably rookie one. Rookie one. No, I think King F six now makes a lot of sense. It shouldn't be. And yeah. you, don't, you don't seem to me to be in any serious danger. As you can maybe try Rook F one now. Oh, but then you can go Rook takes Bishop, Rook takes Knight. Uh, king takes pawn, and that's easy enough with the... Is that true? Uh, but let me think about that. That's maybe not so true, because you have rook e4 in that position. Oh, no, because rook e4, I can go rook f8, king e5, rook takes pawn, rook check. So that is a draw, yeah. That's yeah. quite important that after rook e4... So, so just king f6 now should be a draw. Knight takes pawn is a little bit more... Okay, so oops, sorry. 
So knight f6, if she did that. Well, well, now you go bishop takes knight. And now it's very dangerous. It will check king e5. This is very close to winning for black. Actually, no, it isn't because um, actually it's dead drawn because you play rook a6 here and you have a billion checks from the side. Rook g1 check. King h4. f4. Now you go check, 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 check. Well, yeah. no, you don't go check. No, you, no, black doesn't give checks. So that brings the white king back and runs the pawn. You play f4 now. And yeah. now white just, white just starts checking from the side. Um, yeah, and there's nowhere really for black to hide. Well, the only place to hide is h1, in which case rook f2 wins the pawn. And that one will have gone by then here and across here. Yeah, yep. okay, so this one should be a draw. But whether she'll find rook a6, I mean, the thing is, when you're defending with a rook against a pawn like that, you need to have somewhere where you can give checks. So if you put the, the, the white and black king the other way around, okay, the white king is close to the pawn, then there would be no lateral checks. And in that case, it'd be much more dangerous. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if, if you have an f-pawn and white and white can't really stop it immediately, then there's nowhere, nowhere to give check from. Okay, well, let's see what's happened. Let's just update and see where, where they got to. Uh, actually, this one, there. Ah, oh, they've got to here. Okay, well, that also is a dead draw. Okay. Um, well, you, you just... This one is... Uh... Ah, this is Nina. This is Nina, and is Nina... Nina's his... black. And rook to there, and that's dead draw. Should be. No. Hold on her. God knows how she achieved this, of... but... She should have lost a piece, but I mean, okay, she's now drawn. Okay, and this one... Oh, that's well, a draw. That's a draw. <laughs> Unless you're playing bullet and you're really rude, as people are. Uh, this one, Ketty's one. Okay, of course. Uh, so we actually only have... Uh, so this one is a draw now. Yeah, okay. Um, so we only have Nina. And this is completely drawn. She's completely drawn. Because um, you just sit there. This one, which is completely drawn, <laughs> insufficient material. So this is the last one. Material. Right. Okay. Well, it's been an interesting round, hasn't it? So the most interesting yeah. game, Arkshire, that was quite interesting, being attacked and then pushing her opponent back. Ketty sitting there for a while. I didn't see how she broke out, but at some point she, one thing stronger players do, when they don't know what to do themselves, they just let their opponents play moves. Yeah. And normally, after a while, their opponents do something silly, which presumably is what happened. And then she went bish, bash, bosh. And, yep. yeah, some big fights. Right. Okay. Uh, well, thank you very much. So, so that was the end of the round, fifth round seven. Okay. Seven. Um, seven and there are round five. Round five of seven is what I meant. Five of seven, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so in the lead, we will still have... Uh, Ketty, Grandmaster Ketivan Ar Arakamia Grant, and also Fide Master Akshaya Kali Alahan, and they're both on four and a half out of five, having only drawn to each other and beaten everyone else. Um, and they'll so probably they finish can, with six and a half each. Yeah, if they can both keep that up for the the rest of the tournament for the next two games, they yeah. will. They'll then they'll finish joint first. first. I don't know if they've got some clever. They I know it's the match between the individuals, but that was a draw, so so we'll see what well, happens. Well, I mean, he can do that. There's a playoff in the championship section. Not so sure about might, that. Might we'll find that out. Okay. Um, anyway, yes, thank you ever so much, John. Yeah, yes, I'm sorry I was late. I was sorry I was distracted by the, 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 the nullity, of, the nullity yes. of time and in, in this time of plague. And yeah, uh, okay, I hope people have enjoyed this. Yeah. And I'll see you anon. You can see you again. And you thanks for watching. Catch up me again sometime. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. See you. Cheers. Bye. How do I leave?